Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Rugby Ascendant. Unfortunate breaking news, United Rugby Championship has canceled all the games in South Africa for this weekend and next weekend owing to the emergence of a new variant of the COVID virus, the B1.1.529 variant, uh, which made its appearance in Botswana on the 11th of November and now apparently is claimed to be widespread in Hauteng province, the capital of South Africa. We are seeing URC taking drastic actions and the teams from the British Isles are scrambling to get on a plane and get home by 4 a.m. or they will find themselves quarantined and unable. No more flights after 4 a.m. coming up. So they struggle to get rolling and we'll see what happens here. Crazy situation, ladies and gentlemen, as this virus takes more casualties from the world of rugby. Now your rugby championship have confirmed the next two rounds of games set to be played in South Africa have been postponed. The four South African sides were ready to play their home matches for the first time ever in this series. Due to the sudden de developments connected to the new COVID variant, Bravo.1.1.529 that have immediately placed South Africa on the UK and EU travel red list, the scheduled round six and seven URC championship fi fixtures set to take place in South Africa the next two weekends have been postponed and will be rescheduled later this season. The safety and well-being of our participating clubs, coaches, and support staff and match officials is the foremost priority, and the URC is currently working with the four visiting clubs, Cardiff, Munster, Scarlets, and Zebra Parma, to facilitate the return as soon as possible. The decision is based upon latest guidance against non-essential travel to and from South Africa, the ban on direct flights to the UK, and other home destinations, the potential hotel quarantines enforced upon those returning from South Africa. As has been the operating practice throughout the pandemic, the URC will continue engaging with our medical advisory group, our union shareholders, and respective governments to plan according to the latest health guidelines. Which raises the obvious question, do all the South African teams also skedaddle and head to the British Isles before they wind up stuck in South Africa? Will this lead to the cancellation of the rest of URC season for the South African clubs? Bizarre situation. This is uncharted territory, folks. Absolutely strange situation taking place here. As we see, URC games are, are, are postponed, not canceled, and the teams head home, at least the teams from the British Isles. Amongst those include players from South Africa who play for some of the teams, like the Scarlets and others. Monster players uh, test negative as they get ready to head home. South African leg of the championship has been descended to disarray as a result of the worrying new super variant, as people are calling it now. Monsters match against the Bulls in Pretoria has been officially postponed as a result of the COVID-19 variant. And they're in the process of getting back to Ireland after URC games canceled. Damien Dalende, a member of Munster, he played for the Springboks in the recent test. He's going to have to skedaddle back to UK. I would imagine that is the case. All the fixtures are canceled, and that's the situation we have right now, folks. Breaking news, URC, United Rugby Championship games have been postponed for the four South African sides who are finally home and looking forward to two weeks of home games in front of fans. That's all gone by the wayside now. As an emergency meeting yesterday between the World Health Organization, South African Health Authorities, and others determined that this was a super dangerous variant, and the UK put South Africa on its red list. Apparently, the European Union was due to do the same. According to this news report, they're already on the red list, so developments are changing rapidly. Uh, South African nationals, Southern African nationals from South Africa, Botswana, Namibia, Zimbabwe, Eswatini, all, and Lesotho, all trapped either in the UK or in Southern Africa, unable to go back to the UK now. And this rather instantaneous. And this shows you how quickly governments can overreact and how quickly governments can react to events like this and what it means for international travel. Those who have gone to South Africa recently may find themselves stuck there for an extended period of time. And those in the UK trying to get to Southern Africa in the same boat. Folks, once again, URC games for this weekend and next have been postponed. And it raises the larger question. Did the South African teams also leave? Are they also en route? Will they now spend the rest of the season in the British Isles? I seriously doubt that's been the case. They don't have the funds for that. So this means most likely we're going to see that the rest of the season is gone by the wayside for these South African squads. This is a horrific situation for URC. Not something that they want, not something they ask for, but they're stuck with it. Hey, folks, if you're not a subscriber to Rugby Senate, please become one. Smash the button right down there. Same with Chris White Africa. Thanks for your patronage. We'll keep you updated on, on rugby developments. Cheers.